All right, so in this video, we're going to talk about how to find the direction in which the function increases most rapidly and decreases as well. So uh, that has to do with the gradient vector of the particular function. So for the first part of this question, we want to know where is the function increases uh, most rapidly at this point PO. So we know that direction means we want a vector. More specifically, we want a gradient vector uh, in this case. And we're going to make that gradient vector a unit vector. So we're going to say that this function f increases most rapidly in the direction of the gradient vector. So we're going to call that a unit vector. So let's call this u hat which will be the gradient of f at this point PO divided by its magnitude. So that's how you make the vector a unit vector. And this vector will be the greatest increase of this function. So we'll start off by finding the gradient of f. So the gradient of f, it's going to be its partial derivatives with respect to each variable. So we'll have uh, f sub x, f sub y, and f sub z. So these are gonna be our uh, partial derivatives and together they are the gradient vector by definition. So we're using this function f of x. So let's go ahead and find the derivative respect to x. So y and z are treated as constants. So we're going to differentiate this piece and this piece since they involve x in there. So the derivative of ln of x, y respect to x, well, that's just going to be one over x, y times the derivative of the inside, which will just be y plus now we're going to go ahead and differentiate this respect to x. So that'll give you z over x, z, comma. Now partial derivative of y, uh, uh, ff respect to y. So now we differentiate this and this since that's where y is involved. So the first term will give us, um, so we will have x over x, y plus, and then when we differentiate this respect to y, we will have z over y z and now the partial derivative of f respect to z uh, will be to differentiate these two terms now since they involve z so for the first term we'll have y over y z plus and then the last term we'll have x over x z so these are our partial derivatives respectively now we're going to go ahead and plug in the point po so we're going to evaluate our gradient of f at 1, 1, 1. So we're plugging in x, y, and z to be 1. So our vector becomes 2, 2, 2. So that's our gradient vector. So that's what we're going to substitute right up here. But now we want to make this vector a unit vector. We're going to have to find its magnitude. So now the magnitude of f at this point, PO, it's going to be the square root of two squared plus two squared plus two squared, which will give us simply um, two square root of three. And now we're gonna plug that in place of this piece right here. So that means f is increasing most rapidly in this direction. So our gradient of f, it's gonna be two comma two comma two divided by its magnitude. So that's two square root of three. And we're going to simplify that out a little bit more. So since uh, all of these have two in common, we can factor out a two and cancel the two with the denominator. So you'll just have one over square root of three times the vector one comma one comma one. So this is our direction for the greatest increase of the function or the function is increasing most rapidly. And we want to know what is the derivative in this direction. So that's the next part of this problem. We also want to find the derivative in that particular direction. So in this direction, so that will be the uh, maximum rate. So our maximum rate in this direction would be the magnitude of the gradient of f at that point, which we know just simply to square root of three. So this will be our directional derivative in this direction of f at PO. So you can write that as your answer, which represents the maximum rate. Now for the next part, it's pretty straightforward. Where the function decreases most rapidly will be the opposite direction of the gradient vector. So again, we're going to make that a 
uh, negative direction of the vector we have. So we will say f decreases most rapidly. That will be the negative direction of that unit vector. So uh, this will be the negative gradient of f at that point PO divided by its magnitude. Again, we're making this into a unit vector. So then we already know what our vector is. That's the answer we got right here. So all we got to do is multiply that by a negative one. That will give us the uh, where the function is decreasing or decreases, rather decreases most rapidly. So we'll have negative one third. 1 over square root of 3 times the vector 1 comma 1 comma 1. You can leave it here or you can just distribute the negative inside. So you'll have 1 over um, square root of 3 times negative 1, negative 1, negative 1. So that will be the direction where the function is decreasing most rapidly. Now what will be the derivative in that direction? Well, so this will be the derivative in the direction of this negative unit vector of f at that point. So that's really just negative of the gradient magnitude of the gradient vector at PO. We know the magnitude, so that's 2 square root of 3. We just make that a negative number, negative 2 square root of 3. 